What's cracking, guys? Welcome to yet again another episode of the Honda Recap. I want to talk about official Nice One's new projects, and Big Murph's at it again with a new video. Let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you had a great weekend. A lot of cool stuff has happened and I want to get into that. But if this is your first time watching this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 when this thing airs. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you don't like it, hit that dislike button twice. Essentially what I'm trying to do here is bring on everything that's going on in the Honda universe here on YouTube and bringing it into one cohesive episode. Like I said, every Monday night at 8 o'clock we sit down as a community and see what's been going on in the past week. I want to kick this off with official nice ones. They started and they've been doing an awesome behind the scenes on a bunch of different people here in the community. They did Jamie Marsh and most recently they are with Daniel from Vasila Garage. The video is getting edited as we speak. I think it's looking to air somewhere soon, early July. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be great. The quality is always amazing. They definitely go about capturing the essence of behind the build and what's actually going on. It's a really awesome series. They've done Frank Downstar, Jamie Marsh. They got a couple other ones in the works. Like I said, Daniel from Vasila Garage is coming up next. Stay tuned for that. I believe they just aired on Instagram a live stream showing you kind of the editing process and what's going on behind the scenes. Definitely check that out. Following that, we got Chris Sadowski taking the DA out for a rip out there in Arizona. They got some fresh paved roads and it didn't take more than a day for Chris to want to take his DA for out for a little cruise. It's a really awesome video point of view with the GoPro of him just driving around, having fun out there on the streets. It's really well done. I really like when people do this when they build their cars and they just go out there and drive it. You're literally sitting there watching the video and they're out there having fun doing what they built their car to do. If you haven't watched Chris Sadowski lately, definitely go check out his channel. All right, following that, we got Hunter Tuned. This guy did a DevCon cylinder sleeve in his B20, got it, put it together, took it to the track, and yup, hit tens. I think it's 10.9 right now. Stock sleeve, DevCon in the cylinders. Basically slapped the turbo, slapped the head back on, went out there and sent it on Hunter Tunes Classic Tunes. It's really awesome to see the different stages Hunter has basically done on this EK hatch from stock block to building it, to throwing the turbo, to upgrading the turbo, and the whole time tuning it himself and actually taking it out to track to see how it does after each iteration. I'm super happy to know that you finally hit tens. It's only a matter of time before you start breaking that time down. All right, speaking of breaking that time down, we got Dana, Young Static, who happened to hit 20,000 subscribers. So you know what that means, guys. We're going turbo soon. But like I said, we're going turbo soon. Dana's actually got some plans for the CRX. He actually wants to hit some numbers NA, and that's totally respectable because if you've been following the budget build, He's done so much to get it to where it's at now. He wants to push it as far as he can go, push it as far as that H22 can go, and you know what? See what he can put down all motor. In the latest video, we all already know he's got the turbo, the manifold, and all the knowledge to make it happen. So I'm just super glad you hit 20K, man. You've been at this a very long time. You deserve way more. The community knows that. So I'm happy you hit your mark. It's only a matter of weeks now. Going from a CRX to an EG, we got Adam Ival of 621. He's been doing a lot of drifting videos if you're getting into that. He's got a new MX-5, he's got a Sylvia, and a group of friends that are always out there like Monkey London going out drifting. But one of his latest videos came back to the EG. He's having a lot of fun. He finally sent it off to get the moonroof plug put in, all the trims added, and the windows installed. Back to the body shop it goes. It's any week now. The car is going to get back from his friend fully ready to go. He's basically probably going to put it back in his garage, hang out with a couple friends, go over every single bolt of the car to make sure it's torqued down and to spec because we all know that car has literally been in pieces from a frame and finally a rolling chassis. So probably a smart idea, probably a smart idea. I know go over everything before you take it on the track, but you're almost there, man. I'm super proud of you. The rest of us out there are just insanely happy that you've just been dedicated with the uploads your channel is massively growing so that's great to see and i'm personally happy to see the eg finally getting the last stages and getting on the track following that we got the old souls channel showing you how to paint your valve cover on the del soul i'm partial to this because obviously it's a del soul but the old souls car club is actually a really good group of guys having fun all in their del souls i believe they have shirts now so definitely check them out for that give them some support and you know what we got to keep the Del Sol community alive. Hunter's got one. Chris has one. I have one. The Old Sol's got one. Lowell's Kevin has one. We got a lot of stuff going out there in the Del Sol community, and I, I can't say it enough. I'm really happy about that. With that said, definitely check out Old Souls. It's a cool group of guys and great-looking content. 
Next up, we got Lazy Man's Garage. Chris is out there pulling B16s out of his buddy's cars because you know what? Chris is always literally there to give a helping hand to whoever needs it. His buddies need help, they need a place, they need a garage, they need tools, they show up to Chris's house. He's there, willing to help, making it work. And in the past couple videos, he's shown you basically how they're pulling the engine apart. I think they just wanted to do something with the transmission, but he was like, no, 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 no. We might as well pull the whole motor, clean it up, and then put it back in because that's literally the best way to do it. So props to you pushing your friends to do it the right way. Definitely check out Lazy Man Garage. After that, we got Lowell's Kev. I think this is video nine on the restoration of the Del Sol. I believe the car actually is running now. The body is completely stripped. The hood, the Targa, and the trunk are all getting airplane stripper, sanding it down for repaint. It's definitely something when you watch a person out there working with rust, it's heart-wrenching to watch it happen, but it's really awesome to see him putting in the time to maximize what they have, cleaning it up, sanding it, and I believe he's gonna paint it himself. So. First time he's doing this, he tells you that in the video. It's super exciting to see the progress that you're making and what you're gonna do afterwards. I'm really happy to see this and I really wanna see what you actually come up with painting it yourself because that's something I always love watching people do. After that, we got garage built Hondas. It's not every day someone's gonna go about replacing their entire AC system in their car. At some times, the cars are getting 25, 30 years old. You don't actually have all the components. In this latest video at garage built Hondas, you see them basically replacing everything you're gonna need to get your AC system working in an EM1. There's a good chance you can go to Honda, eBay, and find actual parts to replace those, but when you're trying to do this on your EF, so early EGs, it might be hard. You might have to go to the pick and pull and find different stuff, but in the latest video, they basically showed you the condenser and everything else that they're going to replace. He's done this before and they give an awesome walkthrough like he usually does on how they're actually going about replacing all the things, recharging the system and bringing it back to full restoration. It's really awesome to see because I know they're out there in Texas. They definitely need their AC. And I'm really happy to see that you're taking the time to replenish and rebuild everything within that car. All right, after that, we got Royce Natividad. He's got an EK coupe he's been building for the track. Single cam, got new wheels, tires. He's got an awesome new lift. Definitely been putting in work to the coupe. He's also got an FG2 on bags. That's basically his daily driver that also looks really, really nice. But I really love the fact that he got this EK coupe. I think he wanted to use it as a commuter and then very quickly it turned into a track car. It might have been a purpose-built track car, but it's coming along very nicely. Definitely check out Royce Natividad. He's got a few cars and awesome projects. I love supporting this guy. Speaking of supporting people, we got the crew at SP Tuning out there in Florida with their latest video showing you basically how to install a turbo kit on an LS Integra. Obviously this guy knows his way around an Integra and turbo, so this is a really great video. Very early on, he did about an eight part series of how to build an engine. This latest video is actually showing you how to install a turbo kit on the car. He did it very well, explained everything, and I definitely expect this possibly to be a few different videos showing you how to do it, your options, whether you're going D-series, B-series, and hopefully you wanna go about the road of showing you your options for K-series. All right, back at it again, we got Big Murph. After about a two month hiatus, this guy finally uploads a video and I'm really happy you did that, man. I know you had a birthday not too long ago, so happy birthday to you. Everyone go tell Big Murph happy birthday in his latest video, but he's out there with his EG unveiling the fact that he's gonna B20 V swap the EG. I know when he first got the EG, he had to do a head gasket, cleaned it up, been driving it around. He still has his Integra, but he's had the ability to go LSV or B20V, and he finally decided, you know what, I'm gonna go B20V and I'm gonna throw it in the EG. So we're gonna see this build happen very quickly. He said he's definitely gonna start uploading much more. So I'm glad to hear that, man. We've missed you out here on YouTube. Glad you're back. All right, next up, we got Vasile Garage. Ever since his road to Eibach, he's been putting out videos after the fact. He actually had to stay there at Castro Garage out there in Arizona where he had to leave Monica to actually take apart his car, rebuild the axles at Hasport. The video before his latest video is actually a walk around of Hasport. It's really a great video to check that out. But his latest video, he's at Castro Garage checking things out, looking at his EF build. I think he's building that EF for SEMA. It's looking amazing it's gonna come out very good. So definitely check out the latest video. You get kind of inside of what he was doing in Arizona and you get to check out this amazing EF. All right, last but not least, we got VTech Academy in the budget K20 EF. Hush Performance out there showing you how they install their cable to hydro conversion. I'm sure you've seen it before, but I really love the fact that he's throwing it into this car and every time you see them, Robert gives you an amazing walkthrough of actually how to install it. I think in this kit, they actually went with the Willwood master cylinder. They gave you the reasoning for that. They showed you how to drill a hole in the firewall, how to run the lines, and they actually were able to get the K20 mounted with the new Hasport mounts perfectly in the bay. It's coming out super good. They're repainting the bay as much as possible because obviously you do have to weld in the side mount on the passenger side, but came out great. The budget K20 EF is going to be an awesome video series if you're ever looking to do this. 
junkyard pools, bare necessities to get it in. And you know what? When you got Brian and Hasport and all those guys out there at that Honda house working with you, it's going to get done right. All right, guys, that about does it for this week's of the Honda Recap. Thank you again for tuning in for another week. And like I said, if this is your first time joining us, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 o'clock when this thing airs. Just hanging out here Monday night, trying to bring the community together, have a fun conversation down here in the comments. Check out the people that are down there. If you watch their channel, tell them what's up. Tell them you like them. Tell them Honda Vlog sent you. Go check their channels out. Hit that subscribe button, guys. And like always, definitely go over to hondavlogs.com slash shop. Pick yourself up a shirt. I truly appreciate all of you that have already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.